Welcome back to another Cop Tool on the Job Safety Tips with SafeX. We've got Travis from SafeX here. Thanks, Jay. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about some electrical equipment that, have, that has been taken out of service on job sites. So this was all stuff that you saw on the job? And Incredibly, now... yes. Okay. Yes, this is all stuff that's been in use. A lot of stuff that I find typically, I mean, some of the most, sure. one of the more common things. Some of the, the insulation, the outer jacket starts to rip away, exposed wires here at the top by the plug head. You know, if, if you got something like this, just get it out of service. No use trying to repair it. Same thing yep. with when you're looking into cords that are that are ripped and frayed in line within the cord. Yep. Uh, just really just get rid of them. You see, we got, we got some exposed wires in there. We're right, right. Um, something like this. I mean, you won't even feel that, Jay. That's stripped all the way down to yeah, the wire in there. Yeah, right. And that was just covered For up good with length. electrical tape. Um, so electrical tape, do you recommend uh, just putting some electrical tape I, on there? I don't. I mean, there's a yeah. there's a series of loops you got to jump through to you know technically be okay, but really right. it's not a recommended. Much practice. much safer just to just get rid to of get it. Get rid of it. And have good stuff. Absolutely. All right. So what about power tools? I mean, same same thing with with power tools. as you'd be looking with extension cords, any any other type of electrical cord? You can see right here. I mean, this was frayed, wires exposed. Everything right. everything's wrong with this. I mean, this was in use on the job site. Sure. So, uh, OSHA can definitely come out and smack citations on it. It's electrical from a construction standpoint is one of the focus four hazards that uh, yep. OSHA is looking at. So electrical is going to bring you a serious violation out okay. there. Right here, so. we've got a, got a GFCI. Um, kind of look at the back plate here. Looks like the back end got yep. ripped off and some, we had some exposed wires in here. Is that look, glue? Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. We have, <laughs> some, have some glue in here that, that some of okay. the guys were, were working on. Another thing I find really common out there, Jay, is these replaced, end on, on, sure. replaced ends on cords. Um, one of the things you want to look for is that the, it's the right size end is, make, is on the right size cord. Um, okay. There's different gauges of cords out there, sure. and they aren't all, all these ends are not a one size fits all kind of deal here. Right. So you want to make sure that the screws are tight on there. You want to make sure it's got a good seal on the outer jacket of the cord. Because uh, if not, if these aren't, if they're not, it's not going to be a watertight seal. Right. It can create sparks if water gets in there, create fires, things like that. So that's one of the things I always look for. And right here, we had some busted up screws. And this is yep. part of the reason why that was taken out of service. Okay. Same thing here. I mean, we've got some, oh, wow, yeah. some busted up prongs here. Uh, another thing to look at if you're, if you're getting into these and the ground prong breaks off, right. you just want to take it out of service. Right. Um, Absolutely. That's the common, common thing that you see out there on job sites and guys can just continue to use them. Right. Okay, so what about putting an end on? Uh, it's not really a recommended practice. If you're a qualified electrician, I would say go ahead and do it. Okay, so who's a qualified electrician? Well, that's about a 30 minute long video. But if you want to get <laughs> okay. a brief overview of it, uh, just go check out NFPA 70 and they give you a good list of the definition, the requirements, so and what it takes. Light to, reading, if for you're, some light reading. For some light reading. If you're bored uh, and you want to check that out. Bored around the house, yeah. Yeah. Probably safer just to stay away, get new, new equipment. A absolutely. So this last one was actually in use on a job? Absolutely, Jay. That was, <laughs> that was found on a job site. A guy was uh, plugged using in. his grind. Yeah, he was plugged in. Guy was using his grinder off that. That was it was in wow. use. It's charred. Uh, it's charred. It's burned. I mean, that's just a good so don't example. Use this? Don't use no, no, we don't want to use that. No. And we don't want to use any of this stuff. Yeah. Uh, all this equipment is, is, is damaged, out of service. You know, if you're a, if you're a company owner, if you're a, you're a foreman or a superintendent, yep. the one thing you want to you really just look at is, what what's going to create the safest environment for yep. our employees who are out there working? You know, all this stuff can create fires and create you know shock, yeah, yeah. Uh, electrocution, things like that. So just get the stuff out of service, throw it in the Perfect. dumpster, and get some new equipment in. And at the end of the day, hey, a couple hundred bucks worth of extension cords and, and power tools and equipment yeah. and things. That's a heck of a lot cheaper than paying for a lot sure. of OSHA citations. Right. Of course, that's only half the story. For the rest of the story, go to coptool.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And special thanks to Travis here and SafeX. No problem. Happy to help, Jay. Be safe.